Electromyography is a technique used to measure and record electrical activity of muscles. With the use of an Arduino and a muscle sensor, we can even build muscle controlled prosthetics, video game controllers, and even design muscle controlled robotic arms. If that sounds cool to you, that's because it is. So let me teach you how to record EMG with Upsilon Labs hardware. Hi, I'm Alexa and I'm making neuroscience easy together with Upsilon Labs. I recommend you check out the playlist if you're new and then continue watching this. Now let's move on. When a muscle contracts, it generates a small electrical potential that can be detected on the surface of the skin using small metal electrodes. And then by connecting them to these bioamps or biopotential amplifiers from Upsilon Labs, we are able to amplify and detect those small signals. And then, using Arduino's Analog to Digital Converter, or ADC, we digitalize those analog signals so that we can use them for all the applications we talked about. Wiring the sensor is quite simple. I showed it to you in the previous episodes, but here it is in greater detail. VCC and GND are connected to matching pins of your microcontroller development board, which is an Arduino Uno compatible board in our case. GND is obviously ground, and VCC is 5 volts because that's the minimum that PIL requires to work. Candy or Biscuit can also work with 3.3 volts on VCC. Okay, now you can put electrodes on any muscle of your choice, but we recommend you to start with the easiest, the ulnar nerve. It's a motor nerve you're probably familiar with, because it's the one that gives a tingly sensation when you hit your elbow. Here's how to find it. As it controls ring and pinky finger, you can flex them and try to feel where it moves. It should be along this line, and that's where we place electrodes. Negative one is closer to the elbow, and the reference is on any bony part like the elbow or anywhere far away from the muscle we are recording from, like the back of your hand. Just to mention, maybe biom cable color coding isn't going to be the same for everybody. It depends on the cable version, as well as how you solder the connector, so please take a look at that. Firmware we'll be using today is this one. EMG filter sketch you can copy from this GitHub repo and flash to your board. It's similar to fixed sampling one, with an addition of a softer bandpass filter. It lasts through only frequencies of the EMG frequency band, thus blocking unwanted interference from the AC mains, wire movement and radio signals. You see, although these biomes already have hardware filtering, this additional softer filter can help with recording even cleaner biopotential signals. Now you can open the serial plotter of your choice, and by connecting to the correct port with correct baud rate, you can see the signals. Another useful sketch is EMG envelope, again similar to the previous one, but it sends another value over serial. It's envelope, that alongside EMG can be used for detecting contractions more easily. There's countless possibilities, as you saw, and this is just the beginning. You can also try putting it on bicep or tricep, or both, to see how they work together. If you do, please let us know how it went in the comments. Now here's some projects made with EMG, and its practical uses. Muscle-powered claw game with boxes you can move. Prosthetic arms you can control like your own body parts. A LED bar graph for visualizing and getting biofeedback. I really hope that was interesting and useful. Here's the playlist. I highly encourage you to watch the whole course up until now, if you didn't. You'll find next steps here and subscribe here. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day and see you.